Hi everyone, my name is Peter Harry Ann Wankilner. I was born the 27th of June 1976 and it was at Bath Street Hospital, Gravesend, Kent. Sure, some of you probably do know me, you've probably seen some of my real old videos uh, where I've spoken about Kilna Market Stool, Kilna Car Boot Stool, or Peter's Car Boot Stool, Kilna Enterprise. I've also spoken about um, our religion, the Gospel of Jesus Christ. And I have shown you that I am really trying to get up my business with my tables new second hand and collectibles which is the vintage side of things and it is hard going um, especially when you don't get much help uh, from the government who wants us to to come you know work people and I always want to work it's just with my situation there's certain jobs I can't do because of the eyesight they have got worse and my mental health side of things some weathers I can't be out in um, but that's okay because I've learned to live with all these and I will keep keep on going I, I won't quit but I want to talk about something which is part of me and I know is part of me and that is uh, family history I am of my church the Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints I am a family history consultant what that means is that we help people to learn about ancestry how to use ancestry how to use family search um, and how to start their family tree basically and we help them to do this so they can prepare themselves to take names to our temple in London and do the work for for their loved ones and I know people say that um, this gospel isn't true and there's been a lot of um, bad feelings about the church when people w always called us Mormons when it was um, a group of people who fell away from the church and we know that that's not what the church was meant to be called. It was meant to be called the Church of Jesus Christ, Latter-day Saints. And the prophet has said this many times. Now you might not want to believe that we have a prophet on earth today. Or that um, Christ's true church is here today. I'm not here to talk about what's right and what's wrong here but I want to point out yes I am a member of the Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints and if it wasn't for the church I don't think I would really got into much of the family history side even though I love history I love history and I like trying to bring the people from that time to life and I think without knowing your history um, where your family came from uh, it's it's like there's a loose branch or something let's say branch because when people do family history they they do it like branches don't they so as I said I am a family history consultant and I really have learned quite 
a bit with ancestry and um, family search but at the moment I'm mainly using uh, to make sure my date is right and um, at the moment I am concentrating on ancestry but not just ancestry um, I do have my inheritance and find my past which I enjoy um, as well because it's family history and I think doing family history is very important uh, so you get a lot of background of the people you may never met or the people you loved and you want to know their backgrounds what were they doing in certain times what was going on in that particular part of the history now with me I've gone back to William Shakespeare so in that part of the history I know that William Shakespeare was a poet he was writing him plays like Romeo and Juliet of course and also my family comes within the William Conquer area, the Battle of Hastings, the Black Knight, and all these sort of things. It it um, makes it more real that I know what was going on at that particular time. I mean, there was the Battle of Hastings, the Saxons against the Newmans, and you had the Vikings, you had Panther Huntons, and John Smith. Now, I know a bit about well quite a bit about Perhunters and John Smith because they came to my own town where I was born Gravesend and in Gravesend we've got a big statue of Panto Hunters there and um, there's this church and people say that her body is under this church if it's true I do not know uh, my granddad Harry Kilnow was in the RAF um, where he, I think he met my nan and his granddad was in the First World War too so and a lot of our families are um, heroes in some sense of fighting for this country uh, and going back even further you had other as I said with the Battle of Hastings oh you had the great fire of London going back further than that some of us might have relations from the Titanic and this to to me actually proves that there must be a heavenly father and a saviour uh, the when I do this work uh, and put these families together I feel that I'm being helped you know I, I know I can do all this work on my own it's the same with my journals I can't write my journals without sorry my mic's going down and I, I want to apologize if if my video is a bit blurry I can't find my um, have a camera which I can normally plug in now I want people to to um, know that this work we do is special special work yes it takes time and you have to go through a lot of progress ordering um, birth certificates wedding certificates well nowadays as I found with a lot of mine a lot of people on ancestry who's done some of my family have put birth certificates and places where these people used to live also um, what jobs they were doing you know it's fantastic to know what what they were wearing back then and you know uh, I, I think it's a good way to bring us to totally to the history um, so we can learn 
as much as we can about these wonderful people who have gone before us who we might have met or we might not have met you know so there's still that close connection um, and I'm grateful to have this calling to be able to um, help people to see that there's nothing to be scared of uh, about using ancestry of um, our uh, family search it can just start with just one one um, certificate you might have start with your certificate your birth certificate and work your way backwards or you can start with your parents or grandparents another thing you can do is talk to your parents about your grandparents if they're not here and find out a bit of a background and take notes um, or you could get an old tape recorder and record your conversations with, with those you want to learn more about uh, and you might have some photos uh, which you might want to make a scrapbook with and I think it's a good thing to if you've got children to to talk about their grandparents, or their parents, their great great grandparents, um, and help them to build a family tree. There might be things you've never known about, so you never know who you're going to find in your tree. I mean, I could be one of your people one of your ancestors from another ancestor who knows it, it can happen so and this is what I want to talk about I, I want to talk about ancestry and finding these people and bringing them to lives how many of you have watched um, oh, what's it called now Oh, I forget what it's called but it was a program about people used to go and they used to go oh who do you think you are that's it who do you think you are people used to go and learn about the family history we know Boris Johnson's done it we know um, Jeremy Clarkson's done it there's been other people's done it I've done quite a bit. Now, I will. Let's just see if this works. Oops, it is. Oh, what have I done? So about this guy. Let's just come on. Just turn my Chromebook into a tablet this is ancestry looks absurd oh no it's not absurd this is one person who's done some of my ancestry this person is oops, sorry about that um, <laughs> it's plainer. 
mini kiuna and the person who's studying my my ancestry I've done some of these names is Skiddy is Skiddly Scatling family tree. Now it starts off with Leonard, Louise Howe, James Herbert Kilner, Alphony J. Kilner, Leonard Kilner. So let me just show you this again so you know what I'm talking about. This is ancestry, guys. So let me just bring this. If I go to James Herbert Kilner, so I'll just press James Herbert Kilner. As you can see, it's a nice picture of James. Then you've got unknown Kilner to a parent of his, but you've still got. Um, James Herbert Kilner, 19th for February 1920, Merlin, Kent, England, and that was his birth. Then you've got Death, December 1978, Ludding, Ford, Tonebridge, Kent, England. So it's got its birth. Occupation. 1935 to 1975, Berlin Farm, Berlin, Sunderland, and Linville, Kent, England, Hoosman of Farman. 1939 to 1945, Europe served in the Grand uh, Grand Guards. Sorry, Grand Guards during the Second World War. Roger Stearns, 1939, to Dyke Colleges, Snodland, Kent, England. Mario Stachel single, this was in 1939 by the way. Then in 1943, marriage, March 1943, at St Paul's Church, Dow Hall, Burlam Stroke on Tennant, Stadfordshire, and this is to Minnie Scatling. Death 78. So, if we go to his mum, who is Alice Fallence Kilner, 1902 to 1983 so yeah again so you click on her and you will see there's a George Kilner 1852 to 1937 Elna Julia Steele uh, this person's uh, Alice's husband is John Love okay? So, let me just show you here again so you know where I am. Try to do it slow. See, it would have been easier with my other camera, but never mind. So, if we click on George Kill now, this person is one of my great 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 granddads I believe right. and he was born February the 25th 1852 East Greece did Sussex death June 1937 Marlin Kent England now his parents was George Kilner Elizabeth Simmons. His wife was Elian Jula Steele. They had children, which was George Harry Kilner, Gratrude E. Kilner, Arthur Lewin Kilner, which is my granddad's dad. 
So if I click on him, Arthur Lewin Kilner, this is my granddad's dad. Here he is. Well, no picture, but let's see what it says about him. Birth, 28th of February, 1987, Bring Berlin, Kent, England. Registrants, Berlin, Kent, England. Relation to a head of a house, son. Right, Registrants, 1901, Boxley, Kent, England. And then 1911, 2nd of April, 1911, Mount Ray, England. So that is my granddad. And this Arthur Lowen Kilner was married to, let me just say, Dorothy May English. I was born on the 29th of July, 1893, Gravesend, England, United Kingdom. Now this is where I'm from, originally Gravesend, Kent. And um, I've been a few places in Gravesend. I've been in a few places in Dartford. Um, I've been to Northfleet, all around that area, okay? So now, we've got Dorothy May English, this is my great granddad. Now, if I click the son, Harry Kilner, now it's got birth unknown, but I know his birth was 27th of November. Um, I'm not sure about the date but I thought I had the date on here it might be I've done so many trees so one tree has probably got his date on there so I can find that out um, he died in Somerset um, on the 14th of January 2007 my nan died um, a day earlier I think about the 13th of January and he's always said if Olive goes before me I will join her so our feelings on that he stopped taking his oxygen and he kept his promise you couldn't separate them they were lovely people they they had their diamond or ruby I think yeah they had their diamond anniversary and they've had their ruby anniversary together so this is um, a true romance sort of story uh, with my nan and granddad. They they actually went not that far apart, um, and it's got spouse unknown. So this is definitely one of my old. Um, oh, it's not even mine. That's why. <laughs> of course, it's not. It's not my tree, it's um, scuttling, scuttling family tree um, with the other kill. So I've got these details, I will show you mine in a moment. And uh, <laughs> I forgot myself, so we go. This is how I get when I'm looking at family history. Um, it brings me joy, it brings me peace, it brings me. I feel the love of these people and I want to know more about them, you know. Um, and Dorothy May English, um, as we said, she was in Grey's End, you know. And um, I have to fund the history of Grey's End, and uh, in one of my videos, I'll talk about it. Um, so, We've got now, we've got Dorothy May English, we've talked about Arthur Lowen Kilner, we've talked about Harry Kilner. His wife was born on the 29th of June. Now, there was like a sort of bet going with me. Um, would I be born on my nan's birthday, my aunt Mill's birthday? 
because all of our birthdays is in June and apparently mum decided she wanted a sour apple and I came on the 27th of June which was the Lord's Day Sunday um, so I'm quite pleased about that <laughs> to be honest um, yeah so with this what you can do so let me just show you here you've got your trees here so here is the list of trees you wonder hold on what this means the little leaf it means there's hints which you can click on to and um, it'll bring up um, someone else's person who's doing the same person as you and you can check on the detail if you've got the right details if not you can um, add these details I will show you that so on ancestry then you have home which takes it home of course trees search DNA now DNA is you can buy a let's just click it a DA test and it costs 79 pounds so this is what it oops it easy will say hopefully I've left that long enough for you oh and now it's just gone home so if we hold on let's show you this if we go to Harry Kill now and you want to search this person's tree press search because his partner's not there so you press search here here we are this is what I was saying Harry Kilner was born the 27th of November 1926 and look all these Harry Kilners you've got a list of names of spouses Okay. On this side, on the right side, you've got Harry Kilner, Death 2007, Mal, Parents Arthur Lewin Kilner, Dorothy May English, UK and Ireland. And then you've got, whoops, what's happened here? Oh, don't sorry about this. <laughs> we were getting somewhere then. It always happens, um, but that's okay. Uh, let's see what it's doing to me. Have a moment. No, I don't. Um, oh dear, it's it's playing its own thing at the moment. Let's go, go, go again. Okay. Sorry about this. It happens, technical problems. Um, so, as I was saying, on the right hand side, you have filtered by all categories. So, geniuses and votes list. Here you can find the name of people. Um, on the voting list where they live things like that and it says there's 795 both for marriage and deaths you can check their births their marriages their, their if they were Christian baptized that sort of thing um, military is if they were in the war so they might be members of, of soldiers put it that way um, in immigration that's for people who don't live in this country they might have 
that come over from somewhere else, I believe. Pictures is um, some people when they do their family history, they have stories and they've got pictures of the person it might be or the place. Sometimes I've seen pictures of the shield and maps as well. So, um, that was a members list. That's what members, I believe, have done that. Court, land, wills, and financial. So, if people went to court, I suppose. Land, if people own land. Wills of people who might have left a will. And finance is people either were in trouble with their finances or had really good finances, I suppose. Um, and then, of course, then you've got family trees. Now, if you click on family trees on this side, here, it will come up with people who's doing the same name as you so like it's got Harry Kilner this is definitely my granddad um, this is from my cousin Terry uh, the Terry's then of course there's um, the Kilners English's Bal Balat family so these people there's 17 people who's doing this okay so 26 um, someone has definitely got this person wrong here now this is what you've got to look out for guys okay now someone's got my my granddad dad which is right Arthur Lewin okay hold on am I yes yes yeah I'm right right they've got that we know that oh, no sorry so forget that it's me I'm being a whip Network. okay this is my granddad but don't forget my English he's his spouse they've got there is a mistake I am right but I thought it was something else don't forget my English is if you check here is my mum's, I mean, my granddad's dad's wife. Dorothy May English is the wife of of um, Arthur Lewin Kilner, not not the sp spouse. So what they've done, they've put the mum and the wife around the wrong way. So you've got to be careful. Uh, sometimes there is is um, some spelling mistakes dates are wrong there's many ways of spelling kill now as well so some names might have more than one way of sp spelling um, with kill now you've got like K-I-L-L-N-E-R K-I-L-N-E-R K I L O N E R. Nah. So you, you've really got to do your research. It's like being a detective with um, finding the right family and the right spellings. But you've got to remember back then the, the spelling would have been a different way. Okay? So check each, check each spelling. That's my advice. Check each spelling, okay? Um, hold on. Now, as I was gonna say, uh, just 
anyway. All right. Okay. Now, when you go to Harry Kilner, um, his father was spoken about, his mum was spoken about, um, his spouse, my nan, who I was talking about, is Olive Marjorie, and her name was Braddock. Okay, so let's check, I mean, let's tick on my cousin's tree. Okay, so we and here is a picture of my beloved granddad. That's my granddad, guys. And here is my nan. So they've got their kids private private but I can tell you one of the a few of them actually um, where they've got Olive and Harry's children um, is there's David Kilner there's Chris Kilner Mark Kilner Derek Kilner and my so-called our father, as I will class him, Peter Allen Kilner. That's all I want to say on that matter for now, guys. <laughs> okay, um, but that's their children. Okay. Now, hold on. Nelly Doris. Johnson Wickow was my nan's mum. And my nan's dad was Arthur Henry Braddock. Um, let's see what it says about him, sorry. Parents unknown. I'm not sure if I've got it. But his birth was the 15th of April, 1901. His death was the 14th of October, 1932. Lined Royal Navy Cemetery. So he was in the Royal Navy. Um, and Nelly Doris Wicker um, is my nan's. Mum, but Nelly did marry um, someone called Dennis. So you had the Dennises and the Braddocks. Dennis is my Aunt Margaret's father and her brother Colin's father. I'm not sure about George, uh, but I know Margaret and Colin, because Colin being the youngest, or Dennis. Um, they're both, bless their souls, or no, all three of them. Margaret, Colin, and George are no longer here. Um, my Aunt Margaret died when I was 18, about 1994, in June. Um, the, about June the 18th, um, I remember that quite well. So I was just coming up 18 and it really broke my heart because I was always with her uh, most weekends and school holidays uh, and I do miss her. Um, I miss her a lot actually. So let's go now as I said like you go to tree and it's got tree okay click on Kilner family okay here you have me Peter Harry A. W. Kilner which is Peter Harry Allen Wayne Kilner 
okay I was born the 27th of June 1976 at Bath Street Hospital in Great Zen Kent okay now here it's got spouse and children so this is me now it's got a question mark for spouse it was Vicky Rachel Bloomfield we got married in June the 20th 1976 um, it didn't last that long okay leave it there we had a child called Michael Harry Kilner who was born on the 26th of November 1996 okay oh it's got actually Vicky, Rachel, Vicky Bloomfield here and that's Michael's mum okay um, 2006 I married again um, to April Dawn um, Mary Weather but because she was married 10 years before um, so when I married her she was April Dawn Osborne okay. and she had two children Daniel Mark Osborne and he's born on the 9th of December 1994 then Louise the 21st of April 99 I believe okay so now you come here and you will find my mum Patricia Helen West and her mum is Clara Helen Alice so go down so you've got Harry Kilner my so-called father who was born in 25th of March 1952 and then he's so it goes this is what I'm saying it's a bit like a tree you know little branches going across here and everywhere so you've got Harry him my nan okay then you follow their line which is here across here so you, you go from my granddad Arthur Dorothy May English then you go to my nan's Arthur Braddock sorry I don't know why I did that okay Arthur Braddock Nelly Doris J Wicker okay then you can go this way then you've got George Elena Steele Jules Alfred English Alice Eliza Froster John Braddock Louisa Johnny Wicker Alice Mary Labata I think that's how you pronounce it Charles West oh and now you've seen it it's just made the wrist oh right now okay now you've seen it's just come up with um, William West Sarah Reed now it's come up with the leaves we've been talking about so and then here you've got two people in green and it says protect father and mother so you can click those if you want which you can go to view details and then it gives you Richard Reed 1757 birth 21st of November 1828 Middlesex and then it will say record three photos new family it's got nothing there then it says where is this information from um, then it's 
God, do you think this is the father of Sarah Reed in your tree? So you've got light it up, yes, and then next to it you've got no, and then you've got maybe. Now if you're not sure, I'll just flick it off. You can go to Sarah Reed, okay, Sarah Reed, profile. And then this will come up. Okay. Profile. Right. Now, see this leaf at the top? That means you've got hints. So when you click on a person, like here, right, it's got Sarah Re Reed. Okay, up here, you've got search tools edit so you can edit her or whatever and then it's got hints 11 so if you press the 11 hints come up here it's got the parents thing still now you either can ignore it or you reveal now we're going to press the green button to reveal okay here we are so here in mine it will say whatever is your tree yours will be on the left so it's got Sarah Reed um, it's got 27th of Jan 19 no sorry 1840 London okay I've got I haven't got our parents but here it's got new on this one Richard Red Sarah Reed. So it hasn't got Sarah's other name. So if you go down here, oh, bingo. Look, Richard Reed Sarah Mitchell. You go here. So I know for the fact when I look at this one it hasn't got all the information um, normally I would put select all trees but the top one hasn't got all the information for Sarah so what I would do I will put that one and that one okay because you never know one might have more and then I will press review what's come is this so now you've got Sarah Sarah so I can look and look at mine oh it's put the information on for me thank you for doing that it does that and then I would click Richard okay so Richard now is on and it will come up with Sarah Mitchell okay then it's got William West now sometimes you might have to collect um, these beginning names because sometimes if you have to have children to one of the families and if you don't have that person it will come out at one of the parents okay so we don't need to do that have we got John Reed? no we haven't so we can add him see so keep going and I don't need to add anything else so I will press save to tree and sometimes it takes a bit of a time make sure I pressed it oh boom so now Richard has been added to my family okay and Sarah Mitchell so here's his sp spouse or oh, oh, spouse sorry Sarah Reed's spouse okay and her children and it looks like she's got one two three boys one two three four cows okay now with each one of these on this side say if I want you to know Richard's father or mother um, I could say if I wanted to go backwards I could click on that I'll click on Sarah Mitchell 
if I wanted to come forwards, I could do the children. Okay, but what I normally do, I normally take the tree back before coming forwards. So I would click on Richard. Okay, come on Richard. Now it would say there's seven hints. Okay, so I'll click on seven hints as we did before. And then it will come up with this ancestry member tree, okay, which didn't come up. Um, okay. So we know there's a father and it's saying unknown mother. So you press on ancestry members trees, okay, and um, it says John Reed, mother private. John Reed, Anne. And so again, we could just say, right, we accept one, two, okay? Then we'll go to where we were before and press the screen thing. Then we look at the information, okay? Do John, we've got Anne. I have to put her in case there's any other children, but we don't have to. So we just press the orange button. And wait. So there you go. So, what about this Sarah Mitchell? Can we find anything about her? Do you reckon? No, it says five hints. So, yeah, again. Click on the five inch hints, sorry, press ancestry family trees. No, no, there's not enough information. So, what you could do then is go back Okay, so you want Sarah Mitchell. Now you see this button here, it says search. So you press search, okay? And let it do the work for you, okay? Here, it just says spouse, spouse, marriage, marriage, registrants. Now we don't know if any of these Sarahs on here matches out so I'm just sorry sorry about that I don't know what happened there sorry about that but these things do happen so if you don't think any of these you can go to the next page by well keep coming down here you can go to the next page with this button here so it comes there so, but you can, as you said before, you could use any of these. So, if I went to family trees, let's see how many people are doing family trees. Um, there's a spouse Richard, so we know that's ours. Spouse Richard, Henry Captain. Oh, that's fine so you know there's so much you can learn on on him our public member trees let's just press that and it just comes up with oh here we are oh no Sarah Bullock spouse Richard On spouse Richard, could she have been married before? Did we have a Sarah Mitchell seventeen fifty nine? Seventeen fifty nine, seventeen. You see what I mean? There's so many people who's married to this Richard. So Mary, 
Sarah. This is where you've got to be really careful, okay? Don't think, oh, because some of these names might be the same or the same, but always check, okay? It's very important you get the information correct. So, I know this video is um, quite long, but I really wanted to get it out there about um, Ancestry.uk or ans I don't know what other Ancestry is where you are um, for me it's Ancestry.uk okay because I live in the UK of course um, another thing I'll, I'll, I'll just quickly mention is when you do your work Um, we had a program um, from the church um, called Find My Path before it changed to the Two Family Search. And you used to be able to do sheets like this. Okay. Sheets like this. And I do a lot of work by hand as well so like S. James Herbert Kilner I was telling you about so when you're studying um, family history always have a pen plenty of paper because some and sometimes you might have to go back from one name to another add more names and then you've got to um, make sure it's right okay the other thing I like doing about family history as well is um, you can as I said bring things to life and what I'm thinking of doing is starting a scrapbook this is my real sister Norma Olive Marjorie Kilner but her name now is Norma I don't know if she's still got the Olive um, Stedman because she was adopted to our foster parents Gilbert and Sandra Stedman and she's still so dear to me um, even though she's been out of my life a long time there's pictures of her and I will never never stop loving this this girl my sister to me she's still my sister and I love her to bits um, like normal siblings we had our ups and we had our dads you know and with her I just think of all the good stuff because I couldn't have asked for a loving sister she was back in the home um, when we first went to Sandra and Gilbert she was you know until things change as we know oops sorry I don't want to lose that picture of her um, so yeah um, you can really make these photos into like a, a family history book and it's me and my son I can't remember who took this but I think it was my so called father when my son was young so talking of my nan and granddad so this brings the people to real life okay and that's what you want and this was in, this was their special anniversary 
I'm not sure if it was the golden anniversary, the diamond, or the ruby, but you couldn't separate those two. They were a lovely couple. And of course, is my lovely mum with my oldest um, half sister. Same mum, different dads, okay? So you might find that along as you're doing research you might find a lot of children adopted fostered but they might take so this is where you've got to be very careful um, this is why I'm saying ask people who might have known the person to get the answers here's my mum and kidney again <laughs> this is one of my favorites of my sister um, <laughs> she looks like she's bored, bless her. Um, but um, if you're wondering who did the cows, my mum did. I used to watch my mum when I was quite small before we went into care. She sat the kids, I mean the girls on her lap, and she would cure the girls' hair. And it was good to watch actually. Um, here's the limo with my granddad. Um, here's my wife, April, in our lovely wedding dress. Now, there's been a lot of disagreements with this photo, but I am sure, sure, because here, I believe it is me, the young version of me with my cousin Samantha, because we did hang around a lot together. Is my nan and granddad again? So, as you look at these photos, you can see the clothes they wore at certain years because we know that clothes and technology changed so much. Um, There's my mum with my uncle Mark's wife, Sam's mum, Aunt Lynn, I believe her name is, and my nan. I don't know who that other person is there. This is our invitation to the people to come to our church and see April and I get married. This is my so-called father, so-called our father. This is my cousin Colin and he's um, wife who's no longer with us and I think her name was Rose this is my aunt Mill my nan's sister and my aunt Margaret who I've spoken about there's my nan so-called our father and my favorite aunt my aunt Maggie now I stayed with all three of these my nan my aunt Mill and my aunt Margaret was um, it started off with someone called Flo who I 
they used to call auntie I don't know if she was a real auntie or not then it was my nan for a while then my aunt mill back to my nan back to my aunt mill and then eventually it came to my aunt Margaret So it's always good to have some photos to actually make this look real. Um, here's my mum. This is mine and April's, but we're signing the the um, marriage certificate. Um, our best uh, friend um, of the church, two of our best friends from the church, John acted as the father Brennan April because um, that's a long story with April's family and then Don was a witness so um, but that was 2006 July the 22nd in 2006 that's my of sister again, Kinley. I do have more than one half sister, by the way. I have it goes Kinley, Maureen, and Dawn. They're my half sisters. Um, their father was Ken Blumford. Oh, Kenneth Blumford is his whole name. Another picture of my sister, Norma. Me and April again. So now you know a bit more background of the Kilna uh, family history. Um, I know this is a bit long guys but I wanted you to get to know me better um, to um, to know one of my my um, favourite things I do which is family history and if any of you really want to learn family history or could be related to the Kilners, the West, um, the Jacksons, the um, Shakespeare's, oh, there's so many Smiths. Um, there is a lot of Smiths in there. Um, if you recognise some of the names, um, drop me a line. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm going to be talking a bit more on this and show you what I find out about certain people, <laughs> just to show you how real you can actually make your family history you know you could even make a time capsule you know um, with the children and then f f 
five or ten years time you can you can now go to that time capsule and see what's changed so this is Peter Kilner from Kilner Enterprise guys we have decided let me just tell you now to keep it as Kilner Enterprise okay um, I will do be doing some more uh, videos on Kilner Enterprise uh, we've just managed to clear mum's stuff got all more comfortable with us um, so we don't have to keep going backwards and forwards now from her flat we've got our stuff so hopefully um, I'm gonna have more time doing more videos this is why I haven't been doing videos with so much things we have been dealing with trying to get our names back on home finder to get into a bigger place um, having problems with our bank and oh, it's been a nightmare guys to be honest um, but it seems that we're on the right track now and um, yeah so I really hope you do enjoy this video I'm going to put this video on YouTube um, just to see how many people might see it uh, I'm going to put it on Facebook too I know it's long guys please bear with it it's the first time I've actually have spoken in more detail about me and family history okay so I am gonna <laughs> going to go now <laughs> I might try and s I'm gonna put the full video up but I am gonna um, try and make it a bit shorter in parts leave some things out um, I haven't done any editing for a long time so it's going to take me time to learn it all again okay so please be bear with me at the moment um, but I would like to hear your comments what you think of this video oh, and if you want to see more about um, how to use ancestry um, I also want to do one on family family search and a bit about find my pass and my hintage okay I am definitely being quiet now and I'm gonna disappear so have a good evening on this Tuesday I mean sorry there I go again Thursday <laughs> I'm just uh, excited that I've actually got this video I've always wanted to do this video okay that's all I'm saying goodbye guys see you in the next one